Assalamualaikum and good day to all of you. Uh, my name is Melati and I will take over chapter 5 which is Z transform. Before uh, I teach and explain the uh, introduction of uh, Z transform in this video, I will uh, introduce myself first. Okay, uh, my name is Melati Binti Amiruddin. I am uh, 34 years old. I come from Segamat, Johor. I was graduated from UTP under Electrical and Electronics Engineering and my master uh, was from uh, UTM under Power System Engineering. I have 5 years experience uh, in teaching and learning uh, signal and system subject. Let's begin our lecture. Don't forget to subscribe my channel. Okay, bye. Okay, Assalamualaikum. I will continue the introduction uh, to Z transform. Okay, CTFT and DTFT. I believe that uh, all of you uh, have learned uh, this CTFT and DTFT uh, in chapter 3 and Laplace transform chapter 4 and now uh, I, I'm going to teach you uh, Z transform uh, in chapter 5. Okay, what is CTFT? CTFT is Continuous Time Fourier uh, Transform which is used to convert uh, continuous time domain signal to the corresponding frequency domain representation to analyze uh, continuous time signal. Okay, so Laplace Transform is, is a general case of CTFT and we can use Laplace Transform to analyze uh, CT system continuous time system we can comment about the stability causality etc and okay for DTFT is discrete time Fourier transform which is used to convert DT which is discrete, discrete time uh, domain signal to corresponding frequency domain representation in order to analyze DT signal, okay. So Z transform is uh, is the general case of DTFT, and we can use uh, Z transform uh, to analyze uh, DT system. So we can comment about the stability, causality, etc. Okay, DTFT actually equivalent to CTFT while uh, Z transform equivalent to Laplace transform. Okay, now I want to perform Z transform. Okay, so for example, uh, we have uh, XN, discrete time signal. So, we need to perform uh, Z transform. To get uh, capital letter X, Z. Okay. This is how you write uh, after you did the Z transform. Okay. You can convert uh, the, uh, from uh, DT signal to Z transformation. And you also can inverse. If you have, if the question give you the Z uh, transform signal. Uh, uh, sorry, Z transform function. So you can convert to DT signal using inverse Z transform. Okay. So how you want to uh, to do the to calculate the uh, function of Z transform? Okay. So the general equation is to get Z transform. We need to do Summation for DT signal, we need to do summation. Okay, summation from actually I need to write from negative infinity to positive infinity. X n, which is X n, comes from the original signal DT signal here, <coughs> and then you need to multiply by a Z negative. N. Okay. 
What is N here? What is N? N actually is the integer. N is the integer. And Z is the complex variable. Complex variable. Okay, so uh, this equation actually we call it as. Bidirectional, bidirectional, Z transform. Okay, what is complex variable? Complex variable is Z equal to R exponential J omega. Okay. What is R? R actually R actually equal to Z Determinant of Z And also magnitude We call it as magnitude Okay, I forgot to uh, Okay, this is in polar form, okay? Polar form. Okay. What is omega? Omega here is the complex argument. We call it as complex argument, which is also called as angle or phase. Okay. From polar form. We go to polar plot. What is polar plot? Okay. Mm. Okay, this is polar plot. We uh, we will use the polar plot to determine the regions of convergence. Polar plot. If in Laplace transform, the ROC is uh, within the uh, within the x axis here, but in a polar plot, the ROC depends on the radius, it depends on the radius and also omega. Okay, for example, we have um, a circle. Okay, R actually represent the radius. Omega represent the angle. Okay, if the uh, if the omega the angle is slowly uh, increasing or decreasing, okay, the radius is remain the same. Um, that's why a circle will appear here Based on the uh, radius Okay Okay, from bidirectional uh, Z-transform We go to the 
unidirectional Z transform. Okay. So we want to find the Z transform for unidirectional equation. Still the summation, but the limitation is uh, different. From n equal to 0 to positive infinity. X n, which is the original discrete time signal here. Put it uh, in the equation. Multiply by z to the power of negative n. Okay, this is called... Unidirectional Z Transform Okay Okay, now we go to example 1 Example 1 okay. We have a signal Discrete signal which is a n a to the power of n u n okay you need to find the uh, x z and also regions of convergence what is the regions of convergence So, uh, we know that the general equation is this. This is the general equation. We will use the general equation. How to find Z transformation for X and Okay, we use general equation from n equal summation from n equal to negative infinity to infinity a n a to the power of n u n multiply by z negative n. This is the general equation. Okay, so we know that u n here. Okay. U N signal. How uh, this uh, you you have learned this U N signal in chapter one actually. Okay, U N signal is like this. From zero, the amplitude is one, and then from one, two, three. For n infinity n positive infinity the amplitude is always same 1 1 1 1 ok so uh, negative uh, value here will be 0 negative value negative 1 0 negative 2 0 until negative infinity is 0 so anything that multiply with 0 amplitude here will get zero that's why we can um, change the equation from bi-directional equation to the unidirectional equation which is the summation from start from n equal to zero because u n is zero here the amplitude start one at zero here okay so n equal to zero to infinity a n no need to put u n the amplitude of u n is one 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 until for positive infinity so uh, if you want to multiply here we just put it one one multiply by a to the power of, of n okay if the n is 2 is 2 the amplitude is still 1 and you put it 1 in the equation and still 1 at the end is still 1 un we can change it to 1 
So that's why no need to put uh, un in this equation. But if you want to put un in this equation, it's up to you. No right and no wrong. Okay, and then n equal to 0 to infinity. Okay, we rearrange the signal is that is that negative 1 to the power of n so okay okay so uh, we can uh, we can uh, do the uh, we can expand the formula here the equation here okay we start from 0 okay n n 0 this is n okay n equal to 0 what happen n here equal to 0 uh, anything that to the power of 0 will get 1 and then because of the summation we need to add a z negative 1 and change to 1 n is 0, 1, 2, 3, 4 Okay uh, A, Z Minus 1 Okay Plus A, Z Minus 1 Squared Plus A, Z Minus 1 Cube Plus Dot, 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 dot Until Positive infin Infinity Okay So uh, okay, we can call uh, this is common ratio CR means that common Okay. So we want to find out the uh, Z transformation The summation of all of these So the summation from the first term to uh, infinity Okay uh, We can create the equation Ft divided by 1 minus Cr What is Ft? Ft is the first term. So what is the first term? The first term is 1. First term is 1. Okay. So, okay. so make sure common ratio so common ratio Less than 1 okay. What happen is What happen if Common ratio bigger than 1 So we put now, uh, If we put 1 here 1 minus 1 0 So cannot uh, perform the division Okay 1 minus 2 Negative 1 Okay we don't want the negative value here In this summation so just positive value So that's why common ratio must uh, Less than 1 okay. So just uh, substitute First term is 1 over 1 minus A Z minus 1 So, first term is A over Z less than 1. This is A over Z less than 1. Okay. So, we want to find Z. Z bigger than A. So, 
A, we put it at the right hand side and then Z bigger than A. What is Z? Z actually the... What is Z? Z is the radius. Okay, because we want to find the regions of convergence. So, Z is the radius. This is the regions of convergence. R O C. R equal to Z bigger than A. Okay. So we can draw it. The radius is A. A. So Z is bigger. The radius is Z is bigger than A. So the A is bigger is outside the circle. So the radius of convergence is outside the circle okay we call this one is z plane okay. so for z transform z transform for this equation only exists if the regions of convergence is outside the circle if the regions uh, if the Z is inside the circle The Z transform does not exist That's all from me For part 1 And next we will continue for part 2 For next video Thank you